In this video, we're going to be going over how to make really clear videos to play online on your websites. Now, if you want to make really clear videos to put on your websites, what you need to do is you need to record your screen at the same size that you want to display your videos on your website. For example, if you want to display your video on your website at, for example, 800 by 450, then you need to record your screen at 800 by 450. Now, first, let's go over the different sizes of videos on the web that mainly that people record at. There is the 16 by 9. This is the widescreen format, and the common sizes are 512 by 288 all the way up to 1280 by 720p. Those are the most commonly used. Then there is what is called is the standard definition, which is 4x3, and these dimensions are 480 by 360 all the way up to 1024 by 768. Now, whatever you use, either widescreen or standard, what you need to do is you always must stay within the 16.9 or 4.3. For example, if you make a, a standard recording of, for example, 800 by 600, and you upload it to YouTube, and YouTube, as we know, uses a 16.9 when they play it on their YouTube website, what you're going to have is black stripes on both sides of your screen. So what you need to do, you need to record your screen on a widescreen 16.9 if you're going to upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, or if you're going to play it on your website using a self-hosted video player with a widescreen definition. So the principle, once again, is always use 16.9 or 4.3 when you create your videos and also when you display your videos. Stay within the same ratios. The next thing that we want to look at is resizing your videos. You'll notice that if you resize a photo, it still looks pretty good. But look what happens if I resize a web page. It's not so good. Whenever you do resizing of screen recordings, you lose some of the picture and some of the quality. And the more that you would do resizing, the more quality that you're going to lose. But the reality is, is that all of us need to do some kind of resizing when we're recording our screens, at least a little bit. For example, if I want to display a video on my website at 640 by 360, well, what happens is that when I'm recording my screen, it's very, very small. And so I can hardly even record anything on my screen because the area is so small. So what I need to do, the solution for this is to resize as little as I can and go to the next size up. For example, if I'm displaying my video on my website as 640 by 360, what I can do is go to the next size up and record at 800 by 450. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lose a little bit of the quality, but it's still going to look pretty good, pretty sharp. Thank you.